Hi, welcome to GVFV News. I'm your host, Jenny Duffy, and today I'm here with Shane Trimbell, Project Manager of GVF. Shane's going to talk to us today about the recent decision by the Federal Highway Administration denying Pennsylvania's request to toll Interstate I-80, which will have a significant impact on transportation funding for the state. Shane, what was the purpose of the tolling for I-80? Well, in 2007, the state legislature passed what was known as Act 44, and it was a funding, transportation funding reform, which took payments from the Pennsylvania Turnpike and directed that money towards PennDOT. That money would be then used to fund bridge reconstruction, highway construction, highway improvements, and transit throughout the state. At the time, the amount of funding was to uh, transfer was $900 million each year. And then in 2010, with the, with the approval of in tolling Interstate 80, that amount would continue. If Interstate 80 was not tolled, the amount would cut in half to $450 million. So that was the whole impetus for, toll, for the, the, the application to toll Interstate 80. It was to maintain that level of funding from the ter Pennsylvania Turnpike to PennDOT. Why was the uh, application rejected? Well, unfortunately, the, the application was rejected by the Federal Highway Administration because it did not meet their specific guidelines on how toll revenue can be collected and dispersed. They specified that the toll revenue can only be collected on a facility and then reused on that facility to pay for improvements. So if you're driving on Interstate 80 and you pay a toll, that money can only be used to improve Interstate 80. They weren't going to allow the continued payment from the turnpike to PennDOT to be used throughout the state. So that, that's in a nutshell why it was, was, was denied. What's going to happen as a result? Well, that's a very good question, and it's really very early to know what's going to happen as a result of it. But it, the first thing that we'll see this summer is the $900 million annual payment from the turnpike will be cut in half to $450 million. It's going to see some very uh, severe repercussions here in the southeastern portion. Our district, District 6, Pen, uh, PennDOT, will have their budget cut. It's too early to know by how much, but it will be a significant amount of money and then most significantly will be SEPTA. They had about $110 million of, uh, of capital projects that were in the pipeline and ready to be built that are no longer funded because this amount of money is no longer available. And they had to uh, cut some significant projects and a lot of them are actually in our service area. So it's, it's, it's discouraging to see that the biggest hit will be the transit riders of, uh, of Pennsylvania and the Philadelphia area. But long term, it's, uh, it's too early to, to, to know, but it's, it will just basically be reduced funding. What can we do to uh, fix this problem? Well, the state legislator has been called into a, a special session on May 4th, and they're going to tackle the issue of transportation funding and look at how the state can uh, reevaluate how we fund our highways. It might look at things such as uh, increasing the gas tax, or it might look at tolling other highways, it might look at public-private partnerships where pub, pi, private in industry will come in and take, uh, take responsibility for our infrastructure, or it might look at uh, taxing miles traveled. So it, there's a number of uh, proposals on the floor and they'll be considered by the legislature and we'll know hopefully this summer. Thank you Shane, thanks for sharing that information about uh, I-80 tolling. Um, if you have any further questions, you can reach Shane at uh, on the website gvftma.com. It's contact information. Thank you for watching.